Why do people shame men for not knowing female products? Like I don't get it. Men don't get menstrual cycles so I doubt then would know about products for that and me for example. I have straight hair I don't know what people use for their curly hair and that's okay not everyone knows everything. And if they don't we should educate them instead of making fun of them. As a man, I know the basics. I.e., what a pad is, what a tampon is etc. But if my wife asks me to get her some, I request a photo of the package she previously bought. If she said, get me ultra thin overnight with aerodynamic wings and kung fu grip adhesive, I would have no idea what any of that meant. I think that's a pretty acceptable level of knowledge to have. What's worse are fathers with daughters who still refuse to do any basic research to help and understand their own child and how to deal with it when the time comes. Well I've been shamed by guys I've dated for various things that can happen due to menstrual cycles and if they had known it was relatively normal unavoidable they would have been more sympathetic. E.g. I started my period and accidentally stained bed sheets. Many women feel enough shame surrounding period leaks without men pointing it out to them and then just watching them fix it. It's not just not knowing. It's what men do and say while not knowing. Tampons will take your virginity, women are dramatic about period pain, hold your period in until you get to the toilet, you don't need birth control, etc. We shame them not for not knowing, but rather for talking without knowing. I don't really care if a man knows what a pad is or a tampon, cup etc. My issue is their blatant ignorance of the female reproductive system. They think we can't pee with tampons s concerning. They think we can have sex after leaving the hospital post s concerning. They think we can control our menstrual s concerning. I know the basics of how a penis and testicles work could educate themselves a bit better yet, better sex education in school before trying to procreate. Many moons ago, when I was a teenage boy, I had a girlfriend. It was important to me to know how to be a good partner, to understand things she went through, etc. I went and bought a book that explained these things. I learned. Today, it's much easier thanks to the internet. As a man, if you have women in your life or want to, do yourself a favor. Learn about them. Hey, I'm a lady but I know about prostate glands and vasectomies and smegma and why sometimes men have to sit with their legs apart and that some men dress to the left and others to the right and all kinds of stuff. It's just basics. I don't have a problem with men being ignorant to knowing more about feminine products. I have a problem with men ignorant in the ways of female anatomy actively preventing said products from being accessible for lower income women and telling me what I'm allowed to do with the hole it goes in. Upside down face. Because there are grown as men that think we pee and bleed out the same hole. Perhaps it has to do with men not knowing anything about menstrual cycles making laws about a woman's body? Pretty sure that's a large part of it. Knowing very basic human anatomy is kind of essential. There's a weird divide where people tend to think males and females are a separate species. I think it's largely to do with the fact that men don't just not know about them, but they act like holding a tampon will catch them on fire and that they are not necessary when they really fucking are. 50 of the planet bleeds every month and some men try to simultaneously act like they are gross for that and then say things like paying a premium for something that keeps them from bleeding over everything makes sense. Period poverty is a major issue that a lot of dudes just ignore. First off, I am a guy. I think it is more of a shame to heterosexual men. I think there is some negative connotation to men who don't know about female products yet they are sexually attracted to females so why are they not even casually learning about these things and if they have no knowledge of something that happens monthly for a woman, it might speak to their lack of awareness of others or lack of true interest in women as people and see them more as sexual objects, but that is just my perspective. Sorry Jimmy you're 47 you should know what a pad is. It's basic human features, not rocket science. Many men refuse to care when it would just take a small amount of effort to understand it to some extent. I have two brothers, and my mom was not keen on talking about that stuff, so I had no idea about any of it until I started dating my now wife. It's something important that I need to understand so I learned the basics. 
It's not that men are shamed for not knowing, it's that men are shamed for not caring at all. Especially when they're married to dating a woman and still don't know or are weird about periods. Men are capable of educating themselves. Sometimes they choose to, and sometimes they don't. Because men often have very strong opinions about shit that should only concern women but don't know the basics of the female anatomy feminine products. Think about how infuriating that would be from their perspective. There are a lot of men out there that want to regulate our uteruses but don't even understand the basics. Forgive us for being pissed. I don't think the issue is men not knowing our period products. I think the issue is men not having a basic understanding of how women's bodies and reproduction works, which leads to misunderstandings, sexist ideologies and things not taken seriously when it comes to women's health, laws impacting women's health, etc. I'm a guy who would shame another adult man for not knowing the basics if they weren't willing to learn. Especially if they are straight or bi. Look, if you are going to be living sleeping with another person, you should understand at least the basics of the biology they are dealing with, and what they get to do because of it. Also, it's not like we're separate species or anything. I've never been shamed for that. And if I was it wouldn't hurt my feelings lol. I have never been shamed or seen anyone shamed for buying tampons or pads. There was a post above this of a man arguing against period poverty because we only need one tampon a day and therefore only need to spend $20 a year. That's why. Ignorance is not shameful. What is shameful is weaponized ignorance that is what many men do they refuse to learn the basic facts then shame women for menstruation related accidents or needs. Because the same men are voters and lawmakers passing laws that regulate women's bodies. If men don't understand the basics of a menstrual cycle, WTF are the doing weighing in on reproductive rights? Not knowing about different period products is fine, not knowing that women's urethra and vagina are two different holes is not. It's basic sex ed. I think it's not so much about not knowing female products, but the absolute lack of understanding about female menstruation, at all. Actual adult men in politics have gone on record, loudly, about what women need and or don't need during menstruation example taxes on feminine hygiene products. We should just hold it in so we don't use as many, that kind of thing. I would never shame a guy for not knowing the difference between a tampon or a pad, but I'd definitely shame one for thinking I could turn my period off. Because historically and even right now men act like they know more about women's bodies than women do not to mention making laws on women's bodies and choices but if you're just a regular guy who doesn't pretend to know shit then you shouldn't be getting shamed I guess. No one is shaming you. It's just one of those times men needs to close mouths and open ears. The only ones having an issue with that are men who like to explain things to others and act like experts that are now having to listen for once. The shaming is in store whenever mansplaining is involved when a man generalizes about the menstrual cycle and displays an unwillingness to accept that each woman is different. I barely experienced any symptoms, but my daughter's periods were extremely painful thankfully my husband didn't try to generalize to our daughter by saying well, your mom didn't complain about pain. I don't mind that men don't know exactly what a pad or a tampon is. The problem for me is that most men don't know anything about the female reproductive system, and yet they got most to say about our reproductive rights. It's ridiculous that the people who hardly know anything about women's anatomy, get to decide about our rights. I think if you can pick a box of tampons off a shelf and tell a curler apart from a straightener you are in the top 5 of straight dudes. If you are to the point of getting made funner for the lack of knowledge you might be pretty behind the curve bro. Like you never had to grab some pads for someone while you were out. In my experience it's not shaming for not knowing, but shaming for pretending to know. Like guys who tell girls to hold it in when they're on their period like it's a fart or something. Or guys who think tampons take away your virginity. It's not about knowing other people's products in general, it's about the stigma of periods. It shouldn't be so hidden, something men choose to be ignorant about. The shame is the refusal for a man to educate themselves on the basics about something that greatly impacts large amounts of society. 
The word shaming is grossly overused these days.